Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Siri. In this video, we are going to solve two problems that I've mentioned in my previous video. In my previous video, I have talked about six challenges that are faced by every English learner. As I have promised, I am going to solve two problems of those in today's video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into the video now. So I always believe that problems are born with a solution. If they are not born with a solution, they are not stated as problems, right? So we are going to try our best to solve those two problems in today's video. Okay, so, so the two problems that we are going to solve in today's video are bored by traditional methods and how to overcome the nervousness, embarrassment, shy and fear while speaking in English. So coming to problem number one, we are not going to consider them as problems but challenges. Coming to challenge number one, that is bored by traditional methods. First, let's understand why this problem occurs. According to me, there's one main reason because of which this problem occurs and that is our assumption. Whenever we hear this term English language, we start assuming that as a subject, which is actually leading us towards this problem. Okay. First, we should stop assuming this as a subject. Subject, I mean, uh, we start assuming that we need to learn a lot of grammar. We are supposed to know a lot of stuff to know this language or to know how to speak in this language. Because of that, this problem arises that we are always bored by those traditional methods. Now, to simplify this, let me just give you an example. Let's say... I had to shift to um, Tamil Nadu, okay? Now, my mother tongue is Telugu. I live in Telangana. Now, suddenly, if I have to shift to Tamil Nadu, to survive there, I must learn Tamil. After going there, if I want to learn Tamil, am I going to join a school which is going to teach me the Varnamala of Tamil, which is going to teach me the grammatical, ru the grammatical rules of Tamil? Am I going to join a school to learn that language of Tamil? No, that's not how, I'm, how I am going to learn Tamil. To learn Tamil, what do I need to do? Of course, I'll be surrounded by people who speak in Tamil all the time. Because of that, I'm already surrounded with an environment which is supporting me to speak in Tamil, right? Now, I'm constantly listening to people who are speaking in Tamil. Which means, uh, which is, I mean, that listening is actually helping me to understand Tamil better. And within a span of time, within a span of two, two or one and a half years, I'll be able to speak in Tamil, right? When I speak in Tamil, I did not learn Tamil right from the basics, like right from the grammatical rules, right? It's just by observing people, understanding that language, and that's how I am going to learn Tamil, right? Now, Tamil is a language. In the same way, English is also a language. We are supposed to learn this in the form of a language, not as a subject. And that's when we are going to be fluent in this language. If I want to learn this language, I am not going to go back to my school days and think what all grammatical rules I've learned in my school and I'm not going to apply them now. I am going to learn this language by following four important aspects. What are they? Reading, writing, listening and speaking. Of course, in the process, it is very much obvious that we might just get bored by following all these four aspects. Now, let me tell you something. These four aspects are not boring. We are just making them boring. That's it. We are just making them boring. If you really want to indulge yourselves into four of these aspects, you can make them interesting. Now, let's start with one by one. Now, when it comes to reading, reading does not only mean you reading newspapers, which sometimes get boring. It also means you reading stories. Kids' stories. Kids' stories are also interesting. 
even by reading those you can learn english can you make the can you make that aspect interesting of course yes now listening listening does not only mean you listening to english commentary or english news all the time you can listen to english podcasts you can listen to english songs can you make listening aspect interesting of course yes when it comes to writing writing does not only mean you picking up a boring topic and writing a essay about that writing an essay no can you make it interesting by writing diary every single day and writing journal journaling every single day can you make this aspect interesting of course yes when it comes to speaking speaking does not only mean you holding a mic and giving a speech no you speaking with your own self you participating in a conversation and making it interesting is also considered as speaking so it's up to you if you want to make this four aspects interesting and fun so that you can enjoy the process thoroughly now you have choice to make okay now let me just give you an example so to be healthy you're supposed to eat a lot of healthy food you're supposed to intake a lot of salads now to eat that boring salad it is not interesting to make that salad interesting you're supposed to add a dressing to that like you must add some lemon you must add some little bit of spices which is going to make the salad tastier and healthier right it's the same salad but you can make it interesting now it's the same these are common four aspects but can you make them interesting of course you can make them interesting it's up to you if you really want to make them interesting you can make them interesting okay so what i'm trying to say here is that first you should stop assuming this as a subject subject is different okay we are not going to get into that we are learning a language so we must focus on these four aspects of course we might find them boring but can we make them interesting of course we can make them interesting if you really want to as i have given example to four of these aspects to make interesting that's how you make them interesting maybe i'll make another video where i'll be talking about how to make them interesting in detail but for now let's just focus on this you can make them interesting and you just need to find that love towards learning this language if you don't find that love you are just learning this uh, language just for the sake of learning just to gain some compliments you are not going to enjoy the process and when you do not enjoy the process the result that you get is not going to satisfy you and the result that you get is not going to be worth your hard work that you've put in that you have put in the process so the process is important to make the process in, in i mean to make the process important and interesting you're supposed to make these four aspects interesting okay so this is how we can solve this problem of being bored by traditional methods all the time okay i just hope you guys understood what i've told yeah and the next one is fear nervousness shy embarrassment when it comes to speaking in this language now uh, there is a root cause because of this which because of which this problem occurs according to me and that is mostly because of we thinking about what others are going to think about us we are constantly trying to make impressions we are constantly trying to gain compliments from other people because of that whenever an opportunity is provided to us to speak in english we are not using it to the best way possible because there is this pressure constantly in our brain that okay if i speak a word that should create an impression in other person's mind now for me what i always believe is that when you are in the initial stages of learning anything i'm not only talking about english when you are in the initial days of learning you are a child okay it does not matter if you are creating an impression in other people in other people mind it does not matter if you are making a lot of mistakes while speaking this language because you're still a child in the initial days you're eventually going to grow up 
they were eventually going to grow all right so in the initial days it does not matter to every i mean anyone how you speak what you speak it on, it should only matter to you and what what should matter to you the important thing that should matter to you is are you improving every single day are you learning from your mistakes that's what you should focus on now i understand that yes this is not our mother tongue because of that we are not very much comfortable speaking in this language of course it is going to be difficult in the initial days of the journey but as you continue doing it without giving up wonders are going to happen that happens only when you do not give up if you give up in between and that's it that's the end of your journey i mean that's the end of your learning journey i don't want that to happen in your case if you truly want to learn this language first learn how to appreciate yourself for the kind of decision that have you, that you have taken to learn this language of course people are going to laugh at you now who are going to laugh at you people who do not understand the kind of importance this language has people who cannot understand what this i mean what is that power this language has they are just going to laugh at you now if possible sit with them okay and make them understand make them understand the kind of importance this language has and why should they learn this language and that's how you are going to uh just you are going to motivate people and you are just going to join them with you and together you're going to practice so the first thing that you need to keep in your brain is that you are a child when you are in the initial days of learning so do not worry too much about what others are thinking about you because we are not here to make impressions right we are not here to create impressions all the time we cannot be taking this pressure in our brain all the time to create impressions we should live for us right we should live for us and never degrade yourself appreciate yourself for the kind of decision that you have taken at a such a young age to learn this language i mean appreciate yourself sometimes it's okay to appreciate we cannot be doubting ourselves or degrading ourselves all the time we cannot attract all the negativity all the time we should attract positivity now when that happens when you appreciate yourself if people are la- laughing at you how does it even matter to you how does it even matter to you of course you know the fact that no matter what you do in your life people are going to laugh at you and to overcome the fear of course it is not going to happen in the first go itself you just need to give that time for yourself as i told you you are a child maybe the first situation which requires which, which requires you to speak in english you might mess up that situation but the next time you are going to perform much better and that's how you are going to overcome this fear okay so this is how you can solve these problems bored by traditional methods and how to overcome this fear of speaking in english i just hope you guys like to whatever i spoke in this video please do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please give it a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i will see you guys very soon till then you take care